What is going on, my peeps? Your boy Versatile is back with another video. Back. Wow, I don't know what the heck I just said. Back with another video. Back here to talk about what's on my Android, specifically with the Pixel 4. Of course, I'm limited in layout because of Google's operating system and their software setup versus Samsung. So the setup is going to have similarities but differences because of that so and as you guys see here this is the pixel 4 with the d brand matrix skin on it it was the black one with the white power button clean i still love this little guy the camera's fantastic software experience is still fantastic so before we get into the video make sure you guys ignite that like button subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so that way you guys stay informed when i drop videos yes let's get into it so upon looking at the phone it needs to be clean so give me like two seconds here so that way you guys get a beautiful experience here with this phone bam we're back and i'm in and again as usual let's hit that clear all there and let's hit that brightness so i actually just talk, took out took this off the charger not that long ago but this is the pixel 4 here of course with google's standard you know widget here that really can't be moved you can like limit i think it's showing the weather but like that's about it a uh, wallpaper where did i get this wallpaper from it may have been mm, oh i will have to try to research and see if i can find it if it's not in the description below then i couldn't find it but it's between papers and the artist that I have referenced in my Samsung Galaxy S20 video. So maybe I'll put him down here regardless. That way you guys can scrummage through his Twitter and find amazing wallpapers by him. So that goes for the wallpaper. But in terms of everything else, I mean, oops, swiping is so easy on here. I got my Google feed to the left. I love having this over here. Hit that update button. And you know, it's gonna have the same information as it had on my Galaxy S20. So swiping back over, I got my every dollar budgeting app right here, my bank account, uh, or my banking app, I should say, Instagram, Twitter, my JW Library Bible app, Google Pay, Google Drive, files. See, Google, you be doing too much now. What are we doing? Okay, Google. Okay, you know, I'm not doing that right now. I don't know what happened, but I have, files android uh a set uh oof, android central and android authority of course they're flipped on my galaxy s20 that's what threw me off my gmail my photos my keep notes youtube and, and my studio app i actually have a dedicated settings button here because even though i can swipe down twice to reach settings right there why do that when i could just have the button right here now of course on the galaxy s20 i could likewise swipe down and hit settings which is why it's there i didn't have the same room on there even though i do and i might change that because i i think i actually just changed the setup on my galaxy s20 now so yeah i changed it pretty quick like what you just saw no longer exists so back to this settings messages android messages no problems with android messages the play store samsung's internet browser and the phone app and then of course you get google's search widget at the bottom that's the main page straightforward nothing too complicated or anything like that and then i have the google calendar widget right there youtube music i have system uh, system i got a system ui tuner widget right here and this is you can access this via uh oh, lord have mercy uh nova launcher i downloaded nova launcher just to use the software ui tuner because from time to time I'll play around with the status bar and get rid of the time or add time with the seconds up at the top. It's not there currently, but I'll do that. I'll get rid of, you know, status bar indicators on the right side over there. I'll do all that with the system UI tuner. So it's pretty easy and straightforward. Pocket Cast, editing apps on here, Lightroom and Pixar. And then I got like apps, just like my random apps here, like NBA, Funko, uh, my headphones app for my sony headphones the galaxy wearable app because for a time they were connected to this phone the imaging mobile app for sony cameras so if i want to do some self photography which i'll finally be doing soon i can use that app to help me with that or to sit assist a messenger app facebook messenger app parcel track which is a deliveries app for android it's the best one i found so far speed test tubebuddy to help optimize my youtube videos ubisoft uh 
app for like the game, the video games. You get like awards and stuff and you achieve things in game. And then Yahoo Fantasy for fantasy sports. GameStop, Light Chess, again, my chess app that I use. I always play with my brother. Concepts of Champions, PlayStation app, PlayStation messages, and PS4 second screen. So whenever I'm an interacting with my PS4, I can do it via my phone. And that's basically my gaming folder. Here are the rest of my Google apps, uh, at least that I know of. I probably I forgot to add a few here, but Duo, Google One, which is where like all my payments are for all like my Google things associated, including like my storage and all that that I pay for Google Drive and Google Photos. I got the Home app for like my that I have connected with my Philips Hue, so that way I can control my apps with Google and not only with the Hue uh, app or Hue widgets. Then I got, got my Google Rewards, um, which I haven't actually got a reward for in a while i might have to check that out uh the files app which i find to be pretty helpful when you know looking for stuff actually i prefer the files go app over or i think it's files uh this files app i prefer this files app over this files app which is why it's tucked away in this folder google maps youtube music uh, google sheets which is like the excel variant and then google news which i like using both on both phones on all my devices really and youtube tv which i haven't actually used in a while but i do miss it and then my movies app with netflix redbox hulu prime video disney plus and i randomly threw smart things in here just to complete six apps so that <laughs> yeah sometimes i'll be picky like that samsung smart things is equivalent to google's home app or like the philips hue app where, where you want to connect all your stuff you know you can do it that way and i think bixby works with that and then i got like my money app here with acorns which is an investing app cash app which is like a, a like a paypal variant adam tickets where i buy my movie tickets which won't be being bought for a while now due to ronnie v amazon shopping credit karma to check my credit even though i don't use credit anymore nationwide uh which is my car insurance patreon uh, PayPal, T-Mobile, and T-Mobile Tuesdays is uh, Tuesdays is an app in which you can get thanked for via T-Mobile or for being a T-Mobile customer. And every now and then they got some goodies in there. And then I do have a third page, which again is very similarly set up to my Galaxy S20, where I have the subscriber count up here, which is still taking some time to load up my new 2000 subscribers. Again, thank you guys for the achievement. And for you know wanting to come through and support and, and enjoying the content. And I got all my hue widgets for the living room, for the bathroom, and for the living room. Oh, I just said that. For the bedroom. Uh, we have a light in a bedroom and a bathroom and a living room. So I can control all that via those areas. You see Shazam. So whenever Google's now playing doesn't pick up a song, I pick up I use Shazam as the alternative. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's a much more minimal setup on the pixel 4 because of the, the the slightly less customization but i'm not mad at that uh the one thing i have used to help customize is if you go into settings and display you can use styles and wallpapers and so by looking here you can see what i'm actually using so if i tap to edit i'm using the fourth icon or font uh style here i'm using verse or i'm using the fourth uh icons uh for like the quick setting and stuff like that i'm using blue which i actually might change right now to like brown oh yeah you know what why not change it now i'm gonna change it to white why not so now it's white and then i use a circle the, the traditional circle icon there for my icons and then i just hit apply and everything's good to go so now when i swipe down now it's white instead of blue up at the top and in terms of my quick settings, you know, very simple, very minimal there. So that's my pixel setup. Very, very straightforward. Nothing too crazy. Nothing super over the top. I don't use Nova Launcher anymore. I just use the setup that Google provides, which I don't mind. Or if with Samsung, I just throw a, a widget in there from time to time. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys appreciate it and enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys like, uh, use or suggestion i'm always open for it but make sure you guys ignite that like button subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that way you guys stay informed when i drop videos but your boy versal signing out and until the next video <laughs> wait for it